She should not have died the night before she was going to start her senior year of high school. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana. Today we're going to be talking about a hit and run case of a 17 year old girl in Tulsa, Arizona. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And the case is still unsolved. But there has been a recent update in the story. Not 100% positive, but maybe, you know, halfway there to possibly solve in this case. So let's get into it. On August 3rd, 2020 in Tulsa, Arizona, 17 year old Erin Kova, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the name. Erin, the name would be on screen. She was 17 years old. She just left her house to walk to meet a friend. Now, this was a rural area and the sidewalks weren't, the streets didn't have sidewalks. So you just have to like walk, you know, in the corner of the road, you know? And she was walking from her house to go meet up with a friend. You know, it was the night before their school um, senior semester started and she was hit by a car and was instantly killed. When we were given back her clothing from the detectives, um, one of her shoes was split wide open from the force of her being thrown. Hit by that car and thrown so hard that 17-year-old Erin Covarubius was killed. It happened a month ago when she was walking near 103rd Avenue and Buckeye Road in Tullison to meet a friend. She was just a mile from home. What we do know is she was struck in such a way that she was taken instantly. So there's no way that somebody did this and didn't know. She was taken straight out of her body instantly. Now, the driver didn't stop to see, you know, what he had hit, he or she had hit, and just kept on going. So 911 wasn't called until three hours later when I guess another passerby, you know, came upon her body. And it's been almost two years now and no one has been identified. No one has come forward. Now, this was an accident. You know, these things happen. And chances are, you know, whoever the perpetrator is wouldn't have been charged with a, a serious crime, you know? Maybe drunk driving or, well, that is a serious crime. It's not punished, you know, they don't get enough time. But, you know, it, it wouldn't, it's not something that he would have went to jail for life or something like that. So the fact that he ran, he didn't stop, and he didn't call for help or whatever, now it's considered vehicle or um, manslaughter or homicide, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Whoever hit her, hit her and ran. They left, and they left her there. They could have called 911 and just said, hey, I saw some. They hit her fast. She was pulled out of her shoes, and they drove off. <laughs> Do you know someone who's come home that has inexplicable damage to the front of their car? Aaron leaves behind seven siblings, a young woman with an amazing sense of humor. And she was so funny. She, she had us rolling all the time. She could clown on her brothers like no other, and, and she could clown on me. And it was so great, it was so great. She wanted to be a mom. That's what her goal in life was, was to be a mom and to have babies and to continue to live out our faith. Now Aaron's family have to hold on to a faith of their own, hoping that someone will bring them answers. So as I said, the case is still open. It has not been solved. But last night, her mom, Denise, who I follow on TikTok, came online and said that someone had contacted her, telling her who had hit her daughter, Erin, and but they wouldn't they wouldn't say who the person was. They wouldn't give a name. They're basically saying Erin's dead. The person that killed her, whether it be by accident or whatever, he, that person is also dead as well. All right, TikTok. I'm sick and I look like shit, but I need your help. This person sent me a DM a couple weeks ago saying that she knew who unalived my daughter. She even gave me specific information that only the person that unalived my daughter would know or if they knew the person. 
asked her for her name and number and the person's name and number so we can, you know, help get this case resolved, get it to my lawyer. And she blocked me saying, what does it matter if your daughter is unalive and the person that did this is unalive? What does it matter? What does it matter? Well, I guess you'll have to see. But please, TikTok, this person is hindering my daughter's case. She says she knows who what alive my daughter and doesn't want to help us. Please help. She was a human being. And for another human being to hit her on the road, leave her there, and just drive off, and then you're living your life, well, allegedly, he or she, I keep seeing he, but he or she, because we're not sure what, you know, and... For that person to go on and live their life, and obviously people know about it, for this young lady to come forward to a grieving mother, you know, a grieving family, and potentially, well, not even potentially, got their hopes up, like, oh my God, we're going to know what happened. This is going to be solved. We can rest a little bit better now. Maybe grieve, uh, you know, like get get further along in their grief and to give them such hope and then pull it back. Oh yes, I know who killed your daughter, whether it be by accident or whatever, and provide details that were not released to the public and then to say, oh, but I can't tell you anymore. I can't tell you the name because the person has passed away and it doesn't matter. It does matter to the person, to the mother. It does matter to the family. If it didn't matter, why even come forward and say, you know, I, I, I know who did it. Why? If you're not going to, you know, tell the whole story. As humans, we treat each other so, like, where's the empathy? If this was you or your family member, or was it you that did it? And now you're making up stories and said it was, you know what? Maybe it was this girl that did it and she wants to clear her conscience, but she doesn't want to face the, the punishment. She doesn't want to do that. So, oh, let me come up and, with a story and say, I know who did it, but the person's dead. So, and they'll leave it alone. They'll just accept it and it's over. And I can go on and live my merry life. That's the only thing that makes sense to me now. It just popped into my head. I was thinking, you know what, maybe it's a family member and she doesn't want to upset her family by revealing the name. But it, maybe it's her that did it. And now the police are going to be investigating her. I will leave the mom's um, description TikTok link down below so you guys can head over there to show her your support or to even keep upon the story to follow the story to see if this is going to be solved fully you know without all the games you know like accidents happen we get that but unless you are in the wrong maybe you were drunk maybe you were speeding you know like it, it's crazy just tell you already started to tell so tell the whole thing but that's all I have on this story. As I said, I'll be leaving the mom's TikTok in the description below. And you guys can her head over there, show her your support, and follow her to keep updated on this story. I'll also be leaving the number if someone is watching this in the States, in Arizona, Phoenix, wherever, and you might know something about this case, call ahead and let the police know. Okay? So, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.